Hi, ladies and men. I'm Dominica Westling. Today I'm going to show you how to do a proper crunch. Uh, I'm going to show you three different crunches slash sit-ups and how to do them with good form. So just for a regular crunch, I'm going to start by laying down. A lot of people hurt their back uh, doing a crunch because they don't keep their lower back flat to the ground. So you imagine your navel uh, like going into your spine. So really push that lower back into the ground. That way your abs are gonna flex. You're gonna hold your hands out by your ears. Make sure your neck is relaxed. You don't wanna pull your neck into your chest. Make sure it's pretty relaxed. You also don't want it to be hanging back. So you're gonna have to strain it a little bit, but we're keeping our hands here for a little bit of support. So a crunch is just a small, small movement, but really effective. So pushing that lower back into the ground, really flexing those abs, hands out to the side and crunch up. You see here I'm shaking, that's how I'm really engaging all my core muscles, really pushing that belly button into my spine, down into the ground. If you see here, there's no space under my back. No space, can't get my hand in here. A lot of people, they may do crunches like this, puts a lot of um, pressure on your lower back and that's how you can hurt yourself. So you just want it to look like this. And breathe out on the way out. If that's too easy for you, you can make it a little bit more advanced by holding your legs up and you can crunch up and touch. Makes it a little bit harder. What you can also do is hold your legs straight up. Here it's super important that your lower back's into the ground. So you don't want to put too much strain on it. So lower back into the ground, legs up, and crunch up. Okay, there you go. Three crunches. Pretty simple, but yet super important that you keep the right form to really get an effective ab workout. I hope you like it. And please like below if you haven't, and also subscribe. And I'll see you next time.